Special delivery, man, look at this. We got a boat to borrow, we got the sprayer for trade, and there should be a welding set or a torch set up in there. And look at that ugly mug sticking out a window, that's Iron Mike. Yeah. I'm just messing with you, but yeah. Uh, the boat's going down to the pond. All right, we got the big sprayer here. That's Uncle Ken right there, the legend on Ham Radio Land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me measure this thing. See how? We're not. He's not sure if it's a 20 or 24 footer. Where are we going? That's to? Not going. So uh, this is part of the trade we're working on. take generally on a wire brush and clean that up and then clean this end up here round it out and uh, they right. really work good we got the LP torch set up and the uh, PTO pump oh. for the sprayer Okay, so I bought this ham radio a few months ago when I was getting back into it, and I'm not even going to get to use it. It's a Yezu FT920, very, very good and high quality radio. Um, however, I have a different one now, and I needed the farm equipment. So the trade is the 300 or 350 gallon sprayer, boom, and a torch setup in exchange for this uh, Yezu ham radio to Uncle Ken. Okay, as if I needed another thing, but I'm trying to look at productivity. Um, I'm hoping to plant uh, 10 acres, which uh, for the 10 foot boom would be quite, quite a task. So hopefully once I get the hang of it, this 30 foot boom, man, just a few passes and I'm on to something different. So uh, looking forward to it and I'm going to go get a oxygen tank next week for the new torch and keep plowing ahead.